So I've been working on rewriting the Beach Boys song, Hushabye. I've got some lyrics that I think are sort of deeper, more moving maybe. It goes like this. Porcupines, porcupines, I'm afraid of porcupines. Spines and spines and spines and spines, I'm afraid of porcupines. I ran it past my wife and she just looked at me like, but that's, that's the way it is, you know. Genius is not appreciated in its own time. So, you guys want to join me? I'm going down the hill to feed some yams. Let's go do it. Come on, you can come with me. It'll be fun. I went to see David. David the Good. Those are wild hot peppers called bird peppers. They are very spicy, but delicious. And I have been picking them off of this wild plant out here over and over again. And I've started planting the seeds as of a couple of days ago. I'm gonna put them in my garden beds. The ground is definitely softer. And I've got this goat manure, which I'm going to top dress these yams with. I'm so psyched. Dropping little droppings in the rows where I hoe. Got the good stuff, it's not too hot cause it's goat. All day long they're grazing and leaving raisins. It's soil fertility like all my veggies are craving. As the rains fall, all y'all will see amazing. Progress as the vines pop and nothing will be phasing. The growth rate of yams is fearsome to behold. Monocot Superman climbing up all the poles that are shoved at each station. With roots nearby, feed root manure than water from the sky. As the rainy season comes creeping, yams will be leaping and zipping up towards the heavens like caffeinated superfly. Yeah, they're my number one. Staple. This year I'll plant as many as I'm able So we got calories in the ground for World War III And if you're smart, you plant more than me And I'll plant it a whole lot So to plant more, you're gonna have to get serious Goat manure is friendlier than some other manures It's not like chicken manure where If I threw chicken manure on like this And the crops were about to sprout, I'd probably roast them all But goat manure is more of a slow release manure. This is also partially composted, as you could probably tell. More like rabbit manure, where it's not gonna burn your garden uh, quite so easily. So I'm not worried about this being a problem. I'm just gonna throw it on, give every bit of these beds a nice application, hopefully get it through the season. I might feed them up halfway through with something else, I don't know yet. We'll see how they look. Yams are actually a very low need crop as crops go. Very low need. One of the reasons they're one of my top staple crops and articles and videos that I do is they are so easy to use. Even if I didn't feed them, I would get yams here. So that's the kind of crop they are. Heart of pine, heart of pine, resinous heart of pine, it'll light a fire fine, please give me some heart of pine, heart of pine, heart of pine, resinous heart of pine, it'll start your fire fine, just need that heart of pine. Urchin spines, urchin spines. I stepped on some urchin spines. And then I fell on my behind. Oh, those horrid urchin spines. Ooh, do, 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 do. Dang, the guy's ripped. Look, Look how, how fast, fast he jams the stakes, stakes in. in. Still, it feels like he edits videos to jam breaks in. in. Well, Davy G could drop a line or a dozen in a flow. Rapping garden man's unstoppable, yo. Straw hats will fly, makes the girls all cry. Prescription sunglasses reflecting tropical skies. Palest boots even hipper than the Velcros. Uh, I'll buy the ladies, but still one of the guys. Surprise? Nah, Rachel, don't read my lyrics. I just spit words after three quarts of spirits. Nah, I'm kidding, I don't drink that much. 
occasionally I'll have a cup of coffee with lunch. Yeah. Uh. And then I'll plant some yams like a man. All right, folks. I think I'm set for tonight. We got some rain over the last couple of days. I've got some sticks in. Just put some manure on. I'm thinking these yams are going to do fantastic. I'm gonna be down here digging some more beds because I got a few more varieties. I got an oriental variety and a purple variety from a farmer friend of mine. Another guy had a farm a ways up the mountainside and he brought me up, showed me around and shared some of his yams with me. So now I've got something like eight or nine varieties. We're gonna put in beds for those next. And when I do that, I'll show you what it looks like. It's gonna be fun. It's really, yams are the bomb. They're just, they're just the best. I'm very prejudiced. I'm absolutely a prejudiced person. I am yamocentric. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Check out my website, thesurvivalgardener.com, where it's yams, yams, yams 24 7. And until next time, may your thumbs always be green. I went to see David. Ah, that David. The David the good. We sing about science and other nautical terms. I hear the water running. I think of the deep caves, the dark places, the jungle where it came from. A thousand rivulets coming from the darkness. And I wonder if it's set foot there. I know it's set foot there.